Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how we can solve uh, one of the areas, there's a puzzle where you have this uh, vehicle that can move forward and backward and there's a way to get up and uh, basically how you get uh, out of this area. So uh, this is the area, after you climb this area up, uh, you're going to find uh, kind of a, a vehicle that you can control. There will be some enemies that you can take down, but I'm going to show you how we can get out of this area. Now, there might be several ways to do it. I did one way. Uh, so basically, there are some jump pads, which some of them are not activated. You need to activate them. Uh, those are the white circles. And there's this vehicle with two uh, uh, interactive sticks. We can actually, this one actually pulls it backward and forward. And the other one pull the sign up and down. Uh, I mean, towards your direction, towards the other direction. Now, I didn't actually use that, um, but I'm going to show you the way I solved it, and you can see if there's another way you can solve it, but this is the way I did it. So, let's do it quickly. Now, first of all, you need to move the vehicle backwards or right towards the direction where you came from. Uh, just keep in mind, there's actually a ball underneath, so after you push it forward, make sure you take it. But now we see it's actually backward. Uh, this actually reveals uh, uh, a jump area where it can actually... Uh, jump and to activate it with the button. There's also you see there. Uh, this is a metal pipe. Uh, I actually use it to climb a certain location. Um, I'm going to show you. I thought first I need to put it somewhere, but no. So basically, you go to this uh, button, you press it, and then you can actually jump up. So again, this just turn it on. So you press it, and now it's on, and then you can just go and when you go there, you can jump up. There's a few uh, crates, ammo crates. You can take them on the way. Now again, I recommend taking the metal pipe. Again, maybe there's an easier way. That's how I did it the first time. And you can just take the metal pipe and jump with it. And the reason for that, because I'm going to use it later. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to see. Maybe you're going to find out there's a much easier way to do it. But again, this is the first time I'm actually doing it. Now here you stand on this area and you can actually push it. You see the rails? You can actually push uh, these uh, things you are standing on and it will move uh, you can use, by the way, you can just push it with your hands. Uh, again, I didn't know that, so the first time I should just use this uh, metal pipe to push it. But you can just push it with your hand and it will just slide towards that uh, path. And once you've done that, you can actually pass through. No worries, it actually moved slowly until it actually settles down uh, just in front of it. And actually put the pipe there, all right? I'm going to put it here and we're going to get to it later on. Now, there will be uh, enemies there, so just make sure you take them down. Uh, make sure you're ready with your weapon, take them down, and move on. Now, in the next section, don't press this button with, uh, you see, with this, uh, if you press it, you're going to fall down. All right, so don't do it. So next time, just make sure you pass through and don't tap the button. Now, there are some elements here that suggest that this should probably be solved otherwise, but, but <laughs> it works, so... What I'm going to show you just works. All right. Uh, and then we're going to move on. Tap this button because this is kind of a, allows you to jump from the jump pad at the bottom. You just activated it. So if you want to come here again, it's very easy from the bottom. After that's going to be enemy. So take the enemy down. And then we're going to go up. Now, the thing is that you don't need the ball. I mean, I released the ball. There is a way probably to solve it with a ball, but the way I did it, I actually don't use it. The thing that I need to do here is just there's a level there. You see there's a kind of a pipe, but it's actually a lever that opens up, uh, releases a wooden board that allows you to go down and uh, uh, exit the area. So basically, you can release it. There's probably a way to do something with it, but I didn't. I'm probably going to do it again later on, but again, just so you know, that's how you release it. And uh, you just go down, and then you're going to move down to the bottom. There's actually a place at the end where it, just, it seems like it fits the ball. Again, I didn't use it. And just remember, you don't forget to take up this little ball there. All right, and you get the gym cone B. Cool. You see that the ball, the big ball, is actually now at the bottom. Now, the same place, a place where we actually release the ball, remember I told you, we actually, this is a lever. So you see the lever, you actually, if you pull it towards you, it's going to reach this uh, wooden 
plate this allows you to jump down uh, no worries it won't actually break if you jump on it so now we released it and i can just jump down there is going to be a few enemies uh now basically uh here again you activate the shortcut this is important one because then i'm going to take uh you're going to see it soon uh, but this allows you again to get quickly to that area fa very fast but remember i still need i'm going to show why i actually need the method pipe why i actually use it maybe again you don't need it i actually used it um so there's an enemy eliminate the enemy and let's move now after you eliminate the enemy you're going to be on this uh, place where you can actually push uh there's actually a uh, a hint for you there uh, you can actually push it right now uh, the plate because uh, it's actually stuck at the, at the top so basically what you do you need to push it and then you will be able to push it again where it's actually at the end you see this sign on the wall it tells you just to push towards the wall and I thought it's pushed no but it's actually pushed towards the wall in order to move on the rail and then you'll be able to do it just push yourself against the wall this will cause a uh, this one to move uh, slowly but eventually it will stop it was designed to continue moving it won't stop based on if you do it you know stronger or so or less i'm just going to stop and then you can see there's a niche there that allows you to just push it and there we go now when you get there right for some reason by the way the jumping doesn't work i don't know if because of this area jumping just b when you click b it just doesn't work for me uh, I don't know, but it may be supposed to be like that. Maybe it's a bug. I haven't spent more time trying to figure this one out. Uh, so basically, I couldn't get there, <laughs> couldn't get up. So again, uh, I try again, but it wasn't working for me. But maybe in this part, it's actually not working. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to try to figure this one out. Anyway, uh, that's what I brought the pipe. So again, if uh, you have the same thing that I have, that I can actually jump here, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know yet. Uh, just the second day, I actually playing it. Uh, so basically, what I did is put the pipe there and i was able to climb it so just get a pipe again if you're doing just the same thing that i do and you can't jump up this is how we do it and that's it that's how you move to the next area all right so again probably there are way other ways to do it but it's sandboxy so there are several ways to you can actually counter different things so that's what i did i hope you find this one useful if you solve it in another way simpler way let me know in the comment section below Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.